Well, with the NHL, college and high school hockey seasons getting underway, what better place to visit than the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame? In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lorson takes us to Eveleth to show us how it all got started and why the Hall of Fame ended up there. There's a town in the state of hockey where pucks and sticks are as common as stop signs and sidewalks. Eveleth is also home to the world's largest hockey stick, which is fitting considering how much success they've had on the ice. I hate to name names because there's just too many of them. I don't want to miss it. I mean, there's just lots of them. John Mariucci. I mean, people in Minnesota understand uh, the Evola thing because you know, back in the day, they were the best. Add Doug Palazzari to the town's list of hockey greats. In fact, Doug is one of more than a dozen players from Eveleth who's been inducted into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. The museum is right in Doug's backyard. Doug, this is you right here. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's a good picture of you. Why, thank you. In 1973, the Hockey Hall of Fame opened its doors in Eveleth after the town of 3,600 beat out Boston, a city of more than 680,000. The only people who weren't surprised were the ones who grew up here. They had hockey up here since the late 1800s, and, and so they've been playing a long time. They had indoor ice in 1917. The sports history is honored from the first floor to the third, showcasing America's all-stars and legends. Brett Hall, Keith Dechuk, Phil Housley, uh, Mike Madonna. Memories from the 1980 Miracle on Ice can be found at every turn. There's a shrine to Olympic coach and Minnesota legend Herb Brooks. I don't know that anyone else could have pulled that off. I mean, they don't call it a miracle for nothing. I'm proud to be from Minnesota. Uh, I don't think I would be the hockey player I am today if I didn't grow up in this state. Natalie Darwitz had her own Olympic moments. A former captain of the U.S. women's national team, she won back-to-back -back national titles for the University of Minnesota, where she's now an assistant coach. Yeah, go, 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 get around my stick and fire. And in 2018, Natalie became the fifth woman to be inducted into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. I think when people actually go up to Eveleth and send me pictures, I don't actually believe it's in there and real, and it's really special. Here, hockey history is both real and cinematic. There's a tribute to John Wayne's 1937 hockey movie, Idol of the Crowds. And more recently, the scoreboard from the first Mighty Ducks movie was added. The goal of the museum is to honor those who made the game what it is today. I think overall, I just hope they have a good time and learn a little bit about the history of American hockey. In Avalith, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. There are 190 inductees in the Hall of Fame and four teams. A national committee votes on new inductees each year. Seven new members are going to be enshrined in December.